Hi there. Okay, so this is test number one for the uh, CC MC30, the coaxial common mode noise filter by Benito. Um, there it is. So what I've decided to do um, is basically monitor the same signal with two antennas that perform almost identically um, in real time, uh, which allows me then to introduce the CCMC30 into in circuit with one of them uh, and look at the actual um, reception and make a direct comparison. So on the left here is the signal from Europe 1 using the Megactiv MA305 uh, E-field antenna running on 12 volts uh, on a battery pack. And you can see it's pretty noisy. The noise floors kind of around about minus 100 dBs. Um, the signal is about minus 67, hovering about min hovering around minus 67 dBs. And the signal to noise is hovering ar around about 11 dBs. Um, and then the signal on the right is the Benito um, Bonnie Whip, which I know. There you go. That's the signal audio. Now, I know from previous experience comparing these antennas that they do perform basically the same. They're identical. And if you actually look now in real time, the signal to noise is hovering around about 11 dBs on the Bonnie Whip as it is on the MA305. There's a difference in actual signal strength. Uh, minus 67 dBs on the MA305 versus a sort of minus 64. Um, but in terms of the noise floor, very, very similar. Um, but what's what's really important is the signal to noise and it's almost identical on these two antennas which is what I would expect it to be because they do perform basically identically um, the difference being really with the MA305 um, that will run on 5 volts USB but to make a better comparison I'm running them both on 12 volt battery packs and in fact I can just show you now so they're literally just hanging in the window um, and so there you go uh, running on battery packs so this is a good kind of control um, looking at this signal using these two antennas um, with almost identical signal to noise. So what I'm going to do now, bear with me, is I'm going to disconnect the MA305 which is on the left of the screen and I'm going to uh, connect the CCMC30 in line with it and let's see uh, what we've got. Right, so I've connected the CCMC30, and what have we got? Well, signal strength minus sort of 65 uh, dBs on the MA305 versus sort of minus 64 dBs on the um, Bonnie Whip, but the signal to noise has improved by about 3 dBs, so it's now hovering around about 14. 14 and a half dBs, um, whilst the Benito Bonnie Whip, without the benefit um, of the CCM30, is still sort of hovering around sort of 11 or so. So on long wave, we have a 3 dB uh, improvement in signal to noise, and the noise floor has dropped uh, a little bit, as you would expect. Um, so there you go. So that's the first improvement. Um, so that's on long wave. Um, and as far as I can see, this is a device worth having if you're interested in uh, uh, listening to weak signals. Um, more tests required. I'm going to do another test on medium wave. I'm going to do several tests on HF, on short wave. Um, but for now, at least, um, it is demonstrating uh, an, you know, an improvement in the signal to noise and in fact I don't know if it probably won't sound much different um, what we could also do um, is let's see what else we've got here uh, let's go to 252 Kilohertz. Very noisy indeed. 
There we go. And let's listen. It's really noisy. So on uh, 252 uh, kilohertz, I don't know whether this is the, it's difficult, it's, this is probably still the signal from Ireland, not Algeria at this time of night. Um, so the signal to noise here is 17, 16, 17, um, using the CMC30 with the MA305 and hovering around sort of 10 or 11. So here, using this device, um, the signal to noise is a six or seven dBs better. So again, a very good result on um, on long wave. Uh, this device def definitely is working. Um, I mean, I'm used to using a galvanic isolator, so I've seen this before using that. Um, and in fact, one of the things you can do is you, if you can use the CCMC30 in series with a galvanic isolator, and apparently that can give you even better noise uh, elimination, which I'll try at some point. But um, anyway. For the time being, at least, um, on long wave, um, we have demonstrated that the CCMC30 is reducing noise. And just to make sure that nothing's changed, um, what have we got? So back on 183 kilohertz, um, signal to noise on the Bonnie Whip is around about now 12 dBs, hovering around 12, and we've got around about 15, 14.8, 15 using the MA305. So um, I think just to double check, I'm going to disconnect the CCMC and just put the MA305 straight back in, just to make sure that nothing's changed. It shouldn't have. Okay, put the power back in. Right. So now, both antennas are directly being fed directly into the uh, RSP duo. And um, what have we got? 12.8, 12.6 on the MA305 and 12.5. Yeah, so back to identical. So there you go. So the CCMC30 uh, it definitely is reducing noise, in my shack at least, on long wave frequencies, which is a very good result. Uh, next test is going to be on AM medium wave. Um, but for now, I hope that was interesting, uh, useful. Um, more videos to come. Thanks for watching.